Hey guys, Zuldin here and welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ship. We are in search of a port so that we can resupply and carry on with our quest. I'm loving the darkness and murkiness of this water. This is a little bit different. Is it nighttime now? Find the nearest port. We know. That's what we're working on, man. That's what we're working on. Uh, we can go, we can head to the right specifically to try to get to the gate and maybe we'll run across port. I'm hoping to find a little bit of treasure and stuff too. It would be really, really nice. Here is the right side of the map or picture frame. Yeah, we definitely have to find the port before we even attempt to go to the right here. So, let's see here. Yeah, baby. Port. Once the ship is docked, the crew are seemingly reluctant to part ways. After all, they would all still be prisoner of the cultist or worse without you. You suggest a farewell drink in the nearest tavern. The first round is solemn, each unable to stop dwelling on their own morbid thoughts. Another round. The drinks flow and the tension eases. As another empty tankard is banged on the table, the crew make life pledges to you. You manage to secure a deep room with plenty of beds. A cheap room <laughs> with plenty of beds upstairs. Once you've slept it off, you can part ways. Your head aches more than it should. An unease creeps to your body. Heavy mead is a different story to ceremonial wine. Shall we call it a night? Let's do one more round. Shanties and ballads are butchered. Feet and occasionally bodies shake the tabletops. Just as your typical evening in a dockside grog hole. Pour my next one on the ground, lads. I'm taking off. One more round. A game of blades inevitably ends in blood drawn. Money changes hands, but one, uh, one hand refuses to let go. And so the burly innkeep helps him fast and airborne out the door. It's getting late or early. Either way, sleep beckons. <laughs> Tentacles grasping from every angle, no escape. They predict your every movement. Attracted unerringly to you like a compass to polar north. Wrapping around you and pulling you exorbitantly down, down deeper and deeper. The jolt awaits. Clammy head pounding. The rum, surely? Yet it feels more familiar than that, more insidious. Something within you cries out, and then so do you. An inocate stream, scream. Your crew stir from their beds just as the door flies off its hinges. Two shadow forms crossing the threshold. Two arms! Luckily, none of your crew were hurt. The pain in your head subsides. The two corpses are Halifron, a nightmarish conjoining of a man and sea creature. Superstitious folk tales made real. You've seen them before, but the crew clearly never imagined they would. Downstairs, the innkeeper is dead. The first hint of dawn looms upon the horizon. Slip warily through the streets, back to the ship. In your cabin, anger discussion rages about the Halifron while you sit silent in contemplation. You know in your heart of hearts that hiding is pointless. Land offers you no haven. The cult will not rest until they have you and all free men under their yoke. This is problem only solved by shot steel and willing hearts. Your best and only chance is to strike a crippling blow to the cult to kill the Kraken. Tell them what you know. The crew stop and listen in it intently. When you speak up, you explain that Hilafron, or Hilafron, I don't know, Halifron. <laughs> it's like halibut, but Halifron. Have always been out there, unseen and preying on those who stray too close to the water alone at night. You tell them of the headaches and how you feel that there is some connection between you and the creatures, the Kraken, and yourself. Tell them of your intention to fight. Your plan to go off on the offensive to cut the head off of the sea snake is met with a mixture of admiration and amusement. <laughs> amusement. They are not heroes of old hunting mythological sea monsters. You cannot force them to join you on what may be a suicide mission, and despite their regret, they leave. Alright. It's just you now. You have little time to prepare for your mission. Your first step is to visit the shipwright before recruiting some more crew. Perhaps coin will buy, coin will buy greater loyalty. Alright. The shops 
or where you can purchase new weapons and upgrades, obtain supplies, repair your ship, or purchase a new one. Your gold and supplies are found here. We got 175 bucks and 40 food. You can repair your hull by clicking one of these buttons. Your hull can only be repaired in port. And on this, this occasion, we have repaired your hull for free. Oh, thank you. Uh, mortar. Okay, purchasing weapons. To buy weapons and upgrades, you drag them onto your correct slot on the ship. Purchase the mortar by left clicking and dragging it onto the ship, an empty slot. Okay. Can we get something else? Another chain shot would be nice. I don't think it'll let us right now. All right. You can sell weapons and upgrades by dragging them onto the slot on your ship sell box. You will get a reduced amount for selling them. Yeah, we know that already. Uh, also, let's increase the number of cannons in one of our batteries. More cannons equals more damage. The plus symbol um, on one of your cannon batteries. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. Beautiful. Buy individual cannon for 30. Nice. If you want a reminder of the weapons in the ship, however, if you mouse over an occupied slot of the tooltip, we'll explain what it is. Upgrades and supplies. Upgrades, if you want... Oh. Uh, you can buy and sell upgrades in a similar way to weapons by dragging them to the correct slot. Uh, special shipwright upgrades can be dragged into the correct box of the screen. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can buy and sell supplies. Clicking the minus button uh, means that you will sell supplies and receive the displayed amount of gold. Uh, similarly, clicking the plus button will buy supplies at the gold cost. You can improve performance of some sections, upgrading to a higher level. An increased helm will charge your maneuver bore at an increased rate. A higher mast will make your ship move faster when changing distance. An upgraded sig bay is quicker at healing crew. You can browse the ship's purchasing by selecting the highlighted tab. And that was shipwright. And when you finish the shops, press this button to leave and return to the main port. Okay, so um, what is this right here? Basic crow's nest. Uh, provides greater visibility to enemy and ship's crew compared to not having one. It also reveals a greater area of fog of war in exploration mode. I like the helm upgrade here. Harpoons, hull armor, hull spikes, and lifeboat. Uh, crew can flee the lifeboat when the ship is destroyed. Unlocks when hull reaches zero health when water gauge is full. Hull spikes, metal spikes that are added to the side of the ship, increasing the damage caused when ramming. Also... Uh, damage to enemy ships when they ram you. Harpoons. Firing these embed themselves into the opposite ship. Enemy cannot move further away than close range until the ropes have been cut or disconnected. Max range close. And hull armor. Partially, partial armor plating that reduces hull damage by 10%. Those are all really expensive. Uh, two masts. So we can upgrade the mast, we can upgrade the helm. Can we get crew here? Hmm. So we can buy and sell supplies right now. I don't want to do any of either of those right now. It looks like we still have our crew though. Or they haven't left yet because of that. Um, let's see, upgrades and supplies. Shipwright, this is to buy ships. Oh, look at this, man. Um, quick to build as soon as the common entry level for aspiring pirates. We are pirates, technically. Hull health is 5,000. Cannon batteries are four. We can get big, big deals like this. Hull health keeps going up. Available upgrade slots. Nice, man. Weapons and repairs. Another grape shot. We can get round shots or chain shots. That's pretty cool. Um... Okay, you make your way to the dockside taverns and notice a few cultists in the midday bustle. It's easy for you to slip by unnoticed. It's harder, however, to resist slipping your dagger into one of them. Approaching a tavern door, your hand grabs your shoulder. You pivot, prim to fight, only to be faced with your former crew. Captain, these cultists seem to have tarred us with your brush. We might be all be safer together now. Plus, be a shame if we left out the songs about you. They hand you a small, heavy pouch to put towards hiring an extra hand. 
Oh, nice. We got $79. You agree to meet back at the ship once you've checked any potential recruits in the tavern. You can dismiss crew and hire a new crew in the tavern. The bottom row displays your crew. The top row displays the available crew. You hire a crew by dragging their card onto an empty slot. So we've got enough to hire, actually, two crew. That would be really cool. We've got another fighter. We have also have... Um, Another gunner. There's no people that are skilled at repairs. Are there? Yeah. Yeah. This guy's um, uh, skilled at repairs. Let's uh, let's do him. So that'll be good for repairs. And another fighter would be really cool too. Can we afford it? $84 left. We cannot afford it, but we can probably upgrade something in the ship. Okay, return to port. You leave towards the docks, which are swarming and growing crowd. Dozens of ships flying. The cultist insignia are approaching. The curiosity and tension is palpable. Several ships seem to have had the similar idea, attempting to escape the incoming cult vessels. Now slow down and surrender. Others speed past the blockade. While well, some engage in bloody battle. The cultist ship bearing down fast doesn't leave you with much choice. Shot and steal, lads. Alright. So I was going to get more upgrades here, but um, apparently it's going to be a little while. I have a new crewman, which is going to help with grape shot. Let's do... Can I hit multiples here? I can. There we go. Very, very good. Nice. Oh, that might actually group them. Yeah, it will, because they're in for repairs now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Alright. Come on, goodness. Keep forgetting it's like right click. God, that was perfect. Okay, maneuver bar is going up nicely. A little bit of damage there, keeping them in the same spot. I like that. Uh oh, what we got here? Uh, Halifron. He just said it. Halifron are aquatic monsters that appear on cult vessels. They could dive into the water and swim at great speeds. I got you. Be especially wary of this. Okay, where is our... We got it, we got it, we got it. Yeah, jump on board so I can slay you. Halifron, no problem. We got it. Nice, with the grape shot. Perfect. He's dead. Okay, we need to go to the sick bay with you. We need to go here with you. We're okay. We're okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. What is... Oh, acid. Wow. So when the Halifron dies, there's acid? Yeah, you gotta get the heck out of dodge, man. Good. Okay. Let's go back. We cool. We cool. Nice. And we can ram now. Brace for impact. And we'll get one more shot. Nice. Okay, everybody's good on health. Brace. Beautiful. All right, let's go get him, boys. This guy's almost dead. Close. That was close, man. Okay. Join the fight now. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. My medic. We good. We good. We good. Nice. Alright. Uh, well, we might not be. Holy cow. Okay. Medic is in trouble here. 
Let's get the medic back to the station. Whee! <laughs> Alright. We got him. We got him. That's done. The fleeing vessel dealt with. More cultists tack, track, tack towards you. You rapidly raise the sails. Alright. Do we have to get back on the other boat to actually exit? I don't know. We didn't take hardly any damage right there. We did really good. Um, I don't know if we should medic up here. But I'm going to. Yeah, he follows. Good. And we can go there as well. Alright, now all the crew is healed. Perfect. Yeah, we're good. We even had the mortar that we didn't even try out, man. Let's, uh, let's leave combat. Nice. Okay, the bar highlighted at the bottom of the screen represents how close the cult are tracking you down. Once all the bars and the cult symbol are finally lit, you will be chased by either a cult ship, the Halifron, or the Kraken itself. When dealing with the events using the cult symbol, you can decrease the bar by defeating the enemy. If, however, you flee, the cult will be on to you and the bar will increase. Okay, so that bar is now gone. And if we go, cannot enter a port under cult control. Ah, I see. I see. All right, so we need to go to, I guess, this event. Your lookout has keen eyes, spotting a disturbance in the water a long way behind you. You move through, you look through your spyglass and confirm several water trails gaining on you. Something moving that quickly can only be the Halifron. Um, open fire with mortar. The Halifron are forced to zigzag, avoiding the incoming mortar blast. Although none hit the infernal creatures, it slows them down far enough for you to make good with your escape. Uh, nice. One out of five events unlocked. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at the larger map and see where we're at. Um, looks like I can go... That's where the Kraken is or whatever. Okay, let's go north here, huh? Let's go... Let's go north here and try to unlock some events before we actually tangle with that, uh, with the cult again. That might not be the Kraken. It might just be the cult, but... Ooh, yeah, baby. We'll take it. 21 more dollars for upgrades. I like it. I like it. Alrighty. It's so calm out here. Alright, we've been in this area before. Let's head straight down there's this is multiple cult events i suppose these are the events that we need to go to the tension on deck stings more than the dregs of rum ration two cult ships have been spotted in the distance moving to trap you our best maybe only chance is to blitz the closest ship i'm counting on all of you let's let's do it let's blitz the closest one All right, we're gonna have to save these positions again. Let's save these positions now. Uh, also, we could do mortar, I suppose, before this is ready. That's probably the better way to go. Let's save that. Let's sink this one, huh? Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the the wisest to sink. It. Wow! Alright, um, where's my medic? My medic needs to heal. And he needs to fix. Alright. Then my medic needs to go to the shop here. Let's give them something to worry about, shall we? Holofron! Holofron! Beautiful. All right, let's get my guy ready to go. All 
We triple teamed that Halifron. He's going down so quick. Beautiful. Okay. Heal that up. How do we do this? Why didn't it? We need to get closer here. Oh, I'm, I'm left clicking and not right clicking. Okay. We're also close enough to to really uh to to get into range here. So let's see. Actually, let's just hit home positions, huh? Everybody goes to their home position. That's good. Uh, we actually need to start manning the grape shot here if we're gonna get much closer. Our hull's doing pretty rough. Um, also, our buddy's hurting here. We gotta heal him up. More than manning the cannons. Is that fire? No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay here. Okay, he's healed up. That's what we needed. They're further and further and further away. We're still trying to get there, though. Okay, I think we might have to mortar these guys because they're just trying to get away so much. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and bring the gunner down here for now. And let's bring this guy up here. My medic is going to take care of him where he's at. And they have some really long range stuff going on here. What is this right here? Mast. Oh, they control... Okay, I see. My masks need repair. That's what's up. Dang it. I just realized that. Um, who's best at repair here? We're repairing. That'll get us closer. That's what's going on, man. That's what's going on. Help me repair these masks, man. Alright. Also, come heal these guys. Before they kill them. They must have a rocket or a rifle or something, man. Okay, their ship is almost gone, actually. What we need to do, probably, is... Come in and load this. This is not what I want to do. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Right click. There we go. Alright. Our masks are good now. Uh oh. I'll tell you, our ship is taking a lot of damage. I think we're going to be okay though. Okay. Our masks are effective again. I think we go back to cannon shots and just... Go for the gusto. Alright. We're taking on a little bit of damage here. Let's fire this mortar shot. And then we go and repair this water. Ooh, this is intense. They're gone. That's it, boys. We did it. Our hull's critical too. That's okay. They're they're going down, man. They are going down. Later! That was a tough battle. <laughs> the first ship is creaking into oblivion, but there's no time to salvage any spoils. The second ship is bearing down fast. Will you engage him? Hetty would taste the victory or retreat safe in the knowledge that you're stuck. A variant blue. I think escaping them would be the best bet here. Okay, let's get everybody that was okay and nobody's damaged anymore so we need to do repairs to the cannons 
It looks like it's these right here. There we go. So if we can go back to leave combat. Uh, we're already at the battle stations. Take aim and let's make it brace. Turn and face them. We punched a hole through the enemy lines. Let's use it. The second cult vessel was bristling with cannon, which made it threatening but slow. You decisively put enough distance between you and ensure safety. Cult aware of your presence. Timer increased. A formidable cult ship has been spotted in the distance and is hunting you. Wow. We got... Oh, wow. It's fast, boys. The cult vessel has been chasing you down unerringly, and now it's time to strike. Holy crap. Okay, we're, we're actually in a tough situation here. Tough situation. Our crew is much better than our, um, our situation here. <laughs> our hull situation. So we're just going to go for... Oh, they're trying to ram? Nice. Uh, let's man the grape shot. Let's man the grape shot. It's almost... There we go. Alright. Can we actually get closer without ramming? I guess we can. It says they're brimming with cannons. They do have a lot of cannons here. Grape shot would be great. Come on, grape shot. That looks like it hurt. Okay. Okay, what needs repairs? Everything is cool right now. Come on, grape shot. Here we go, we're in range now. Nice. We can't quite ram yet. Grape shot is close. Okay. Can we go on board yet? Oh, look, they got one of those, uh... Ha! <laughs> they got one of those guys. All right. He's coming across. Good, that's what we want. Yeah, we know. He's on board now. Okay, we we fine with that. Brace for impact. Nice. All right, our ship is pretty damaged here, but I think we're gonna be just fine. Grape shot. Nice. Okay. Good. Uh oh Go to the med station, man. Our ship is looking rough. Alrighty. One more grape shot, and I'll be confident in boarding them if we can do it. And... Let's try to get this guy. Nice. Okay. We really gotta get there now, man. Beautiful. Okay, we're there. Can't get there quite yet. Can't move. Just, just about, y'all. We're just about there. At the med station. Keep them very low. Actually, let's wait just a second here. Till they're together. Beautiful. Okay. Come on, man. Get there. Get there. Get there. Can we get into range? 
Get into range. Oh, we're gonna ram him again. All right, now we can get on. Now we can get on. I think our healer needs to come here. There we go. <laughs> Look at that boy. Beautiful. That's that's just not fair. That is just not fair. <laughs> Beautiful, man. All right, everybody back to the ship, boys. Everybody back. Home locations. The cult. Know where you are. There's no time to collect any salvage. You must quickly. Uh, is you must leave quickly before something else comes after you. Yeah, because my hull is rough right now. All right. Uh, an imposing cult fleet. There are so many. We leave now fast while there's still chance. The cult ship inches closer as time by. It's almost upon you, and at least none of the other ships in the fleet join the attack. Oh, my God. We haven't had any time to rest here. Wow. Um, this, is, this could be really bad, you guys. Really bad. Maybe we just try to sink their ship. I don't think... I don't know if we could do it. I don't know if we could do it. Mortar is ready to go almost. Did a little bit of damage to him. We are so low though, man. So low. Okay, we got a Halifron. That's okay. Wow, our ship health though is ridiculous right now. It's bad, y'all. It's bad right now. Okay. Let's get our healer to come take care of you. Sheesh, man. And we gotta stop loading this for just a second here. I think that's it. Abandon ship, they said. No! <laughs> Too many cold ships, we couldn't do it. Wow. So now what happens? Game over? Your ship, the instrument of your quest, has been lost. So too your hope? You wake, clinging to a piece of wreckage. You have no idea what happened since you entered the water. At least you are alive. You are in a dire situation, one that will slowly slap the life from you, but it's not hopeless. Stay alive long enough, with a bit of luck you can be rescued. Each occasion that time progresses, you will lose a small amount of health. As the sun lowers on the horizon, darkness slowly fills more of and more of the sky. You feel something catch you. Reach down, pulling up a clump of seaweed. It isn't your idea of a meal, but it may be better than nothing. Eat it. It's very salty. So you gag a couple times as you force it down. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to provide you with any sustenance. Your emotions are all over the place. You find yourself uncontrollably laughing and laugh that turns into a roar that turns into tears. Wow. My health is fading. Emptiness. All you can see is vast expanses of emptiness. With the sun setting, your chances of being spotted by a passing ship decrease. You speak out to test your voice as much as anything. It's an unrecognizable croak. You slip underwater. You don't have the strength to resurface. Wow. At last you return to the fold. Together as one. Ha! <laughs> we got owned. <laughs> oh, but that was fun. 
I'm planning on doing some more, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give us some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. And we'll see you next time.